Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. This time we're going to talk about how we filter our air. Last time we tried it. Eh? So we have dry air. Now we want to have the dry air clean as well. How is this working? Eh? Filter element or the, fil the filtering eh? is taking part in this treatment thing. Treatment element. Of, of a pneumatic system. We talked about this. So how does a filter element work? Okay. Usual filter element used in pneumatics. Let's see if I can manage to draw this. Yeah. There is for sure a casing. Looking usually somewhat like this. Yeah. And at the bottom of the casing we have some screw type and we can eject there. Uh, there is, there is uh, something simply to, to get the, the things out. Yeah? A lot of things which are inside there, yeah, this is usually condensate. So there is uh, still small tiny drops already condensated in the cooler inside yeah and these small tiny drops this nebula yeah needs to be need to get rid and here we can drain it okay here we can drain it there's some sort of of knob somewhere yeah so this is a valve to drain it okay the filter element itself is in the middle of this yeah? so there is Somewhere here, somewhere here, yeah, there is a filter element. This. Maybe it's also here, this is a filter element. This is the filter element. It's usually made of synth metal. It looks like foam. Uh, but made of metal. Uh, very porous material, uh, filter element. And at the top we usually have two connections. One which is connected to the filter element. Here is the clean air coming out, uh, like this. And one which is going down yeah. so there is here the air is coming in which needs to be cleaned and the air is then going through the filter element and is leaving the cleaned air is leaving here the filter element. Yeah. However, it's not just the filter element which is cleaning this air. Yeah. There is this getting air into the case. Yeah. So this is this is the filter case here. Yeah. And here we have then dirt and condensate. So the air is not only going straight in, it's going in in, in circles. Yeah? So there's a whirl inside. Yeah? So the air really is circulating inside there very fast. Okay, very fast. There's tornado-like things. Yeah? So the air is circling in there. And what do we have? Uh, if something is spinning very fast, we have centrifugal forces. So there's, if there is dust inside, if there is water condensate inside, I always drop the things of my pen. If there is water condensate inside little drops, they will all go to the outside wall of the filter case. They will summarize up here at the outside wall 
somewhere here, we'll make it brown, yeah? somewhere here, and they will slowly slide down and they will accumulate, they will accumulate here at the bottom. Okay, so all the dirt and so on, which is inside the air, because the air is spinning, will be pressed against the wall and will slide down and I can drain it. This is how a filter works. And of course, the cleanest air with the less particle density is in the middle, because the particles are all traveling to the outside and in the middle, where the filter element actually is located, there is already low density of particles and the filter element does the rest. So, standard application. Uh, the filter element usually is between 40 micros, micrometer and, and 5 micrometer. These are standard filters. Uh, elements above this will stay inside. Fine filters. Uh, fine filter are down to 1 micrometer. Uh, and they're the finest filters, yeah, finest, are 0 0.01 micrometer. So this is really clean air then. Yeah. Filtering really, really clean in pharma industry, something like this. Really get rid of a lot, all, essentially all particles inside. Air filtering. Mm -hmm. This is how this is working. Yeah. Cyclone. Mm -hmm. Basically. Next time we're going to talk about another part of the treatment. We're talking about the pressure regulating valve. How a pressure regulating valve works, we will hear then. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.